Alright. All right. Yeah. So you told me that you wanted to mostly focus on like jungle effectiveness and this kind of stuff in this uh, coaching session. Uh, and also you told me that you're like, you don't know if you're properly ganking. I, I don't really know what that means. I mean, if the gank works, you it's proper like, and then if it doesn't or, or like, you mean like, I, I guess you said you you're, feel like you're kind of tunnel visioning only on bot lane. But yes, yes, okay. 100%. Why does that happen? You feel like, um, like I, whenever, for example, if I play like a 5Q with my friends, which I do a lot, um, and then I play ranked as well, it's like I've noticed that like I just have a tendency, like I don't ignore Rift Herald and like I don't like ignore the top side of the map, but I just like never feel inclined to ever go top lane. And I feel like it mm -hmm. just has something to do with like, I don't know, the fact that there's two bot or something. So I just always feel like there's more net game, but I don't know. I, I mean, you should never, I think in general, you should never have any preference in ganking lanes, you know? You should just be looking at all the lanes and see if there's opportunities. Uh, and if there's opportunities yeah. top, you go there. If there's not, then fine, you, you don't care. Like, some games you might just not gank uh, top at all, and, and that's fine. It's not a problem as long as you still manage to win the game, you know? Like, sure, if you play with, like, the red tree, of course, you want to collect all your stacks at some point, but... Uh, like, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you really just shouldn't tunnel vision on one lane, of course, if you can, and, and like, there is some merit to just collecting all the stacks, of course, but, um, in general, it's not, like, a big deal as, as long as you still manage to win games. Uh, and then also, I, I guess you said you, you also want to improve your atomization a little bit. Um, yeah. you asked, like, I guess we can, I can share my screen already and we look at your OPG a little bit. Of course, you haven't played too many Echo games, but... You, you built Zonius a bunch of times. Uh, tell me you can see it. Uh, yeah, I can see it now. So like, you you built Zonius in this game. You built it. You you were going to build in this game. I think both of these games are not really Zonius games. Um, I think the only time it seems you're building it quite a bit actually, and I, I think the only times you really should be building it is into actual like one shot assassins like Rangor. Man, you're building it like basically core. I think that should never be the case. It's such a it should be really a niche item. It's It takes away a lot of your carry potential and it's really just not needed if you play with your other abilities correctly. Like, uh, all of his abilities have some amount of defensive value, so building Zonas is just a waste, you know? And, and most of the time, I'm sure, like, not trying to be, like, toxic or anything, but I'm sure most of the time you use Zonas is not even very good value uh, from what I usually see from people around your elo. Like, it's, a, it's not, not that easy to get really good value out of Zonas. Uh, most of the time you just use it and then you probably die afterwards, so uh, in instead I think you should be investing more item, or like more gold into offensive items to just have more damage. What were you about to say? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, um, that's something like I feel like I kind of noticed but didn't really like correlate, like, because I feel like it's kind of insane the kind of damage spikes you can get on like Echo whenever you don't build Zonias, because when you build Zonias you literally just lose so much damage like compared to other items, mm -hmm. so it's like... It makes your carry potential way worse, so it's only good against like certain matchups. Yeah, I think it really like the. I think there's two matchups. It's really just Rangar, maybe Kha'Zix if he's really ahead. But like even then, you know, the more behind you are, the less you want to invest in defensive stats. Honestly, like you'd rather have more offensive stats to just get something done because uh, you're probably just gonna die anyways. You know, so uh, defensive right, stats yeah. are better if you're ahead because then you often don't need uh, more offensive stats to kill people. Uh, by the way, do you have like speakers on if you maybe could turn them down a tiny bit because I can uh, hear myself a little bit. Oh shit, really? What the fuck? Yeah, ju just not a little bad. bit. It's not, not too bad. Uh, let me raise my mic sensitivity, man. That's my fault. I guess. Um, yeah, no worries. Okay, hopefully it should be good now. Let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah I, I will tell you if it's still bad. Um, so I guess just look, of course, like you, you really have not played enough games to, for it to be too... Um, too telling, I guess, but definitely, I, I guess your depths are too high, uh, for sure, and then your farm can also, of course, be a little bit higher. Um, I, I'm not gonna say it should be much higher, like, my, my personal farm is much higher, but I think, uh, I'm, I've been saying this recently because there are good players that have similar farm numbers to you, actually, but it's just their playstyle is very adapted to it, you know, so it's, uh, I think it's much easier to play the game if you just have a bit better farm and... Uh, that's definitely something I'll for sure be taking a look at, just seeing where you can improve there, because like even in your wins you often only have around 5 point something CS, which should definitely not be the case. Like In wins you should easily have 7 to 8 CS most of the time, so it just probably is the fact, like, it probably just means you don't make the decision to farm often enough. Um, I think it... 
I was gonna say it might have something to do with just my inability to just like like for if you know the YouTuber Pokerick at all, I watch them sometimes for fun. I don't... Like like okay, yeah, but he's basically just like a Yorick player and like I'll just be watching him and he'll just be playing the game and suddenly he'll have like 10, 11 CS per minute. I'll be like, bro, like he's a top player, right? Even... Yeah, he's a top player. Okay. So it it's just makes me wonder like how the fuck do you even just it's... randomly get all this CS out of nowhere? Yeah, it's different. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, for laners, it's different. For laners, it often is about staying on the map longer uh, and like really pushing advantages. And for junglers, it's often taking good recalls is one big thing. Uh, that's something I've actually really improved on recently, like a ton, and it has helped me win so many games. Just like taking good high tempo recalls, uh, and and then I can also send you a video on that. Like that really helped me. Um, and then also, just like. Making the decision to farm, right? Like over ganking when the gank is just a low percentage play, because of course every time you die you just lose a lot of tempo. Uh, it's just how it is. So, the the more consistent you can be with your decision making when it comes to that, the better it's gonna be. And of course, one thing that also a lot of people don't seem to understand is that jungling gets faster the more items you have, right? You just start clearing the camps faster. So it's really a compounding compounding effect. So if you clear efficiently in the early game, uh, in the mid game. You're just gonna clear the jungle so fast that you also have more free time to gank, you know? So, like, sometimes people are in my stream, they ask me, like, wow, how do you have such good CS and still, like, have managed to get kill participations? And I'm just like, bro, it was, like, I didn't do anything special. I really just cleared and then at, like, really normal timings I looked for ganks and, uh, yeah, maybe sometimes it works and then it, of course, snowballs even more and other times it won't. But honestly, that jungling is... Especially nowadays, it's actually a really simple thing. You just need to understand the basics. Uh, I guess, yeah. You also asked, uh, like, when to build Lich Bane, when to build Natras. I've personally built Lich Bane every single time recently because I just enjoy playing with it more and it, it has never felt bad. So I think just pick the one you like. I know most Echo players that actually like playing with Natras, but I don't know. Uh, for me personally, I think Lich Bane just fits Echo's playstyle better. It's like it makes him so unkillable because. If you really just play with your abilities, which uh, the Lich Bane playstyle definitely rewards, uh, you, you just become... You just usually stay out of range and then you go in with your abilities and, and you're really hard to kill. So, I don't know, I personally think that fits Echo better because with Natras you, you just need to stay close to the enemies and you will die a lot, you know? So, yeah, but as I said, like, both are 100% viable. Literally just pick whichever one you enjoy playing with more and just learn your limits with it. I think that's much better than trying to switch them out. You know, because then you'll have to adapt every single time. And same for the runes. I guess you played with... Uh, yeah, I mean, you also switched that up a bit too much. I think uh, th this rune setup here is probably the one you should be going for every time now, because uh, mm -hmm. Dark Harvest and Electrocute are getting completely deleted from yep. the game, basically. Yep. And uh, First Rig is just getting a slap on the wrist with, like, 1%. And I personally like the Sudden Impact. Uh, I know most high elo players say they like the eyeball collection right now, but I think it's overrated because uh, this one you need to stack first, uh, and this one actually helps you a bit more with snowballing. So I don't know, and and I don't even like people say the the eyeball collection outscales, but um, I I don't think it outscales that much. Like not not enough for it to be worth uh, giving up the early snowball potential. Like seven magic pen, especially in the early game, is so much. It really is a lot, That's you know. Insane, yeah. Because That's people have like, they have like 45 or something base MR most or like even less. And you just take away flat 7 of that, it's like for sure a 5 or even 10% damage increase. So it's definitely a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty underrated. And then also, as I said, like the other one you just need to stack first. So in some games you might, like in games that are kind of slow or whatever, you, you might just not get the value of that until uh, it's not even that big of an impact anymore. Uh, so I guess, yeah, the other thing I like to always take a look at is the League of Graphs. Mm, definitely good to see your dual screen. Of course, it's only nine games. Like, that's really nothing telling, let's be honest. N nine games can be, like, you could lose nine games just because you are you got unlucky nine times with your teammates. So it really doesn't say too much. Mm -hmm. Of course, what, what's still visible here is your uh, CSing. Like, it's even below for gold players, and, and gold players don't CS particularly well i guess <laughs> that's so, yeah. so definitely definitely something oh. to focus on i guess um uh, but yeah as i said the drill spinner is definitely good it seems like i mean you you said you played echo in past seasons as well right so bro, i was like 10 years old tweaking over the echo second controller, bro like I <laughs> oh, okay nice. for over, like a decade now so 
All right, so you, you, yeah, that's uh, that's probably a reason why you have like you, it seems like you kind of know your limits at least. Um, yeah, it's, it's it probably is just more like the basic jungling that's holding you back. I would assume just get getting more uh, ahead there because if you look at the farming, of course, the gold uh, advantage. As I said, it's nine games, so it's really not nothing uh, we can read too much of. But like, of course, this should all be in the positive, like these uh, graphs. So. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely the biggest thing to improve on for you, and it's also the easy thing. Like you should be, you should be feeling lucky right now because farming, and um, as soon as you understand it, it's so 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 simple. It really is, and especially in your elo, like if you just farm somewhat consistently, is you're gonna have such a such a field day. Honestly, yeah, the other things we really don't need to take a look at too much. I guess patterns, yeah, who cares? Like you don't surrender too much. I'm just always saying don't surrender too much on echo, I especially. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, these stats, of course, just when your teammates surrender or whatever, it also counts it for you anyway, so... And this is also good. It seems like if you actually manage to get the snowball rolling, then you also uh, close it out most of the time. Uh, this is definitely a problem, though. Uh, okay, I mean, and uh, never mind. This is only for... This is uh, counting everything. It's not just counting echo, though. Uh, but but th this definitely uh, just shows some inconsistency. If, if it was echo only, this would definitely be a little bit problematic in only nine games, but of course it's counting every every game here so yeah um, I, I i do have a problem with some games whenever i'm like very behind like, yeah the, the problem is that you even fell behind is what i was trying to say because it, that's the reason why echo jungle is better than echo mid is just that you have such a safe early game generally uh that you really should not be falling behind in most of your games like you should not be minus two kills in 99 percent of your games you know like for me i, I played like 150 games or something. I actually looked it up yesterday by coincidence. Uh, I have like 150 games as well or something. And I only fell behind minus two kills twice in those games. So it really should not be happening often if you just jungle correctly. Um, so yeah, <coughs> that's just the point I was trying to make. I guess you can go in game. So we also maybe have some time to review a little bit. So yeah, just show your screen. <clears throat> but yeah, um, in general, it's like I just really want to improve my jungle fundamentals. Because I was an echo mid for years and years. And like, mm. I remember I watched a bunch of uh, content uh, that was like jungle related. And I was like, I need a role that gives me more power, I guess. Like, I guess like, or not more power, but I guess more macro power. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Where it's like, because like if you get into a bad matchup or if you're against like character who's going to shut you down early, it just feels yeah. like really frustrating as a laner. And jungle is kind of the only way to avoid that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see how it's gonna be next patch, though. I man, I'm I, I really don't know. It's it could be it could go go either way. Probably, <laughs> probably it's not gonna be amazing for Echo, <coughs> for being realistic. Because, well, it, it just sounds like jungling is just gonna have much less carry potential. And I mean that that's what they want, right? That they it's it's a nerf, of course. Everything is just getting nerfed, and uh, it's probably not gonna be good for uh, carry junglers. But if the game duration in general increases a lot, it could be okay for Echo because, of course, he's one of the best scaling champs in the game. We'll mm -hmm. just have to see. Like, of course, if you fall behind every game now because, or like, you're just be down tons of levels, then yeah, who knows? Uh, I also like taking the attack speed personally. I've switched back to it. Sure. Uh, it's just I don't know. It feels better for me. That's totally valid. Yeah, no. Um. I'll definitely just run that then. And I usually like to ban. I don't like playing against Lilia very much. Mm. Um, there's also probably better low elo junglers I could ban. Yeah, ban I, I mean, in... whatever you want, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, for me personally, Lilia is not, like, a big deal. But if you feel like just struggle against her, then for sure just ban her. Mm. Like, my, my I... biggest... Uh, like, I, I only have actually two champs that I really struggle against. And those are, like, Belvef and Rengar at the moment. But they're definitely more high. At least Rangar is only like a problem in high elo because in low elo people can't play him. But Belvev is just fucking broken. I don't know. I mean, that champ has been at fifty three percent win rate for like four patches in a row now. So, right, yeah, could really. Champ. Yeah, and and she also she literally beats you at like any stage in the game unless you're a whole item ahead or something. Mm. It's definitely not amazing. I was gonna ban Shaco. Goddamn it. But Shaco is really not a problem. Like you just need to not panic, I guess, when he goes in with or whatever. 
I just I just hate dealing with junglers that base themselves off invades because if I get but it, Shaco it, can't like, even invade you like he really can't if you're not making any big mistakes he can't invade you. Uh, by the way, are you doing Raptor's path or full clear? I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I've never done Raptor. Okay, that's before. fine because I've also went back to full clearing. Uh, I think full clearing makes tracking the enemy jungle much easier and also, I don't know, it just fits the meta better, I feel like. And, and what I've noticed with the Raptor's Path as well is that, like, I saw that on my stats as well. It's like, I, I reached level 6 one and a half minutes later than my jungle opponents on average, which is, of course, awful. So, yeah, I don't know. I definitely probably had to do with it, with me doing Raptor's Path every game. And, and the advantages of it are just, they're actually not that big. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just full clearing is completely fine. It, it makes, it just makes jungling even simpler. It really does. Yeah, right. And I mean, I noticed one thing I didn't realize until I got back like into the game again was like how like healthy you are clearing jungle. It's yeah. actually insane. You're just full HP the whole game. It's also gonna change a little bit next patch, I'm pretty sure, but um, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on the chat about what they did and like all the changes. I saw that Eric Green like typed them all out. 14 mm. nerfs is crazy, dude. Yeah, I think you might be overreacting a little bit, but I'll have to see for myself. Yeah. I've heard, I mean, I've heard a lot of jungle players complain. I've also heard some that are like, I think you guys are overreacting, but yeah. I just go blue smite, I think. Or actually, not, not go green smite here because there's certain jungle matchups like the Shaco one. Uh, Shaco. Like, the green spent actually pretty good against Shaco. Oh, I can definitely recommend you to get Blitz. I didn't even ask that. Uh, I uh, assumed you would have it, my bad. Or, 100%. Yeah, it, my bad, I don't have it open. Okay. Throwing. My bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, because that definitely, that's something that helped me improve my clearing a lot. Like, when I installed it for the first time two seasons ago, I think. But, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, it helps me. Uh, I think you should actually be starting... Oh, well, never mind, you have Malzahar. <laughs> Malzahar, Tariq, bot lane. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Oh, like, wow. pa pa okay. Nah, Puff bot. Puff, uh, puff top, man. I mean, that's good. You said Puff top. Yeah, yeah. Puff top. So, like, start bot, start bot. So, start at red, start at... Like, pathing top means you're pathing there, right? You're walking there. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So... Alright. Yeah, that's... I just wanted to make sure she has an eye because I don't want to get my shit so on. No, you shouldn't. Like, really, Shaco. I guess you could leave a ward uh, on the brush, like to to your top right. Um, so because if the Shaco's gonna invade you, he's gonna invade you early, you know, probably. But like, he shouldn't be able to. He really shouldn't. Place your W now. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give you a little bit of active advice during the game, but I'm also gonna write most of the stuff down. Like, I want you to make your own mistakes, of course, that you usually would make. So yeah, it seems like uh, the Shaiko started bot site, probably. You never fully know, because Shaiko can kinda solo start with the boxes. Smite the big croc. That's good. So see, like, now you should know, if the Shaco's actually full clearing, you should know that he's at the wolves right now. Uh, at his wolves. Like, because you are at the at this camp, right? So, and, like, most junglers, mm -hmm. they're basically the same speed. So that, that's how you track jungle. It's, it's literally just that. You know, you look at which camp you're at, you, you know where the enemy jungle started, and then you you just know the whereabouts of your enemy jungle. Now is where you need to look top and see if you need to go there. Or if you can go there. I mean, this guy's kind of full HP, so probably not. Just keep full clearing. Definitely, yeah, just always look at the lanes. Uh, and especially in these breakpoints where you can make the decision to not jungle. Uh, since this guy's actually full HP and it's action, he can just E away. I don't think you should be going there, but yeah. Uh, definitely... Go for, like a flash W play on it or something. Yeah, but it's face, you know. You can always just E if he has it up, so... Uh, yeah, do Grump first next time. Uh, I will explain okay. after. I don't want to overwhelm you too much here. Uh, it's better for the sequencing for the next time. Oh, actually, it's just roaming mid wild. Uh, use your Q, like use your abilities while clearing. There's no reason to hold it. I was uh, holding it so I could get Gromp to uh, aggro. Closer. Yeah, but still, like just just use it on cooldown. Gotcha. The, the only thing you should be sometimes holding is your E in case you're like an, uh, expecting an invade, so you can maybe E over a wall. Uh, in the Shaker matchup, is definitely. Something you could be doing sometimes, but only when you actually have a... Like, when you know that they're gonna invade. Just do it. Just do it. 
<clears throat> can place a ward here, like to your right somewhere. Yeah, over there as well, I guess. And now just recall. Like, uh, yeah, probably best would have been to recall out of vision, of course, so they don't know, but just recall, go, go to your ground, oh, yeah, uh, to yeah. your crux right away. Buy a Dark Seal, uh, Amptom. No, Dark Seal, Amptom. Mm. Always want the Dark Seal. Uh, and, yeah, can buy a Control Ward and Super as well, that's fine. Just don't buy too many Control Wards, and, and go to your crux, go to your crux. Uh, look bot, like, look bot right now. See, you have nothing else to do, so just look if you can go there. Uh, and you could be looking for a lane, like, possibly, but they're kinda healthy, I think I would just clear here, honestly. Yeah, uh, Shaiko also not super active. Definitely, yeah. Now, now you definitely need to look because they're fighting. Yeah, go there. For, ping also that you go there. Yeah, that's good. Um, just go through the lane though. Flash. Yeah, yeah. You can flash maybe on the van if you need. Oh, the Jenna doesn't have flash. Place your W somewhere. Yeah, I mean, check for the crap really quick as well. Yeah, okay. Just go to your crux now. I mean, not really worth, because I think they would have gotten her without you anyways, but uh, it's definitely nice for you personally to start snowballing. I was worried about uh, <laughs> her getting over the wall and... Oh, wait, yeah, no, but she, she just flashed, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I, fine. I kind, of, I kind of forgot in the moment. Yeah, you can smite this as well. It's also like, since I have Dark Seal... Yeah, yeah, it's... Like uh, it. In general, in the, the earlier the game is the more fine you are with flashing. Definitely look at the Shaco. Like, you always want to know the HP, and um, yeah, we just saw him there, but it's fine. Yeah, for sure. Every time you see someone on the map, especially the enemy jungler, you want to just see their HP. Just get get as much info as you can, you know? Like, also, the, and especially when, when people are close to each other on the map. Yeah, like, for example, the Fizz, you see that he's kind of low HP. You also see how this Yastu is playing, so you could expect that the Shaiko is ganking soon. But, like, don't 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 expect too much. Like, just go to your wolves. There, there's no no reason to... No, 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 you're just wasting time. Just go to your wolves. This is also a completely useless word. Like, not, not completely useless, <laughs> but actually. it's like a word that's gonna get cleared really quickly and it's just not, not giving you... Like, most of the time you know when uh, uh, the Drake's gonna uh, get taken, you know? Like, it's really not not giving you much info that's valuable. Uh, you, you really don't need a pink word on the Drake ever. Like, in High Evil, nobody's ever wording that. Wait, what? No, nobody's ever, like, n never putting a control word at the Drake pit, really. Because you know, like, you just know, like, 99% of the time you know when people are doing the Drake. There's very clear timings for it. And most of the time it's just when the enemies get killed, you know, like, when you kill the bottling, you just do Drake afterwards anyways. I definitely look to get the crap, and yeah, probably shouldn't have smited in case Shaco's there, but okay, he's, he's there. Definitely move, uh, like, in mid. Definitely move in case... Uh, yeah, I think he just went in. You can fight this. Uh, could have even pinked to bait. I think you can do something here. 100%. I want to wait for a good W timing, but... Uh, nah, okay, just just go just go get the crap. Look top as well, see if the uh, action is maybe low or something. Uh, you could have maybe even invaded him at his rat here. Just like flip the script a little bit. Mm. Uh, definitely recall here now. Yeah, don't don't smite at one HP because of your W passive. Of course, you know you want to smite as early as possible, and uh, usually. Mm -hmm. Loki underestimated my uh, my character there. Uh... Yeah, just uh, nah, get the get the just get the Amptom. Don't get it going to that tier. It's not it's not that worth. Yeah, and just go to your crux again. Just go to your crux. Oh yeah, get get red first. That's actually more efficient. Get red and then crux mm -hmm. and then thing, and and you're completely yeah. fine here. Like. No way. What is this? That's, that's fine. Fast, dude. No, that but, but flash ignited him. <laughs> yeah, you're fine though. Crazy. Just uh, I guess yeah. Do red and then see if they're moving towards the Drake or something. But I don't think they will be. I think. One thing I really need to work on is using his uh, not upgrading our tech. I'm so bad at remembering to do that, even though I made yeah, it's, him. Yeah, it's not the biggest deal. So uh, also, look what you really look what That's something you need to improve on. It's just looking, seeing if you can do something. Uh, probably not. Like they're full HP. I mean, maybe, but uh, I honestly. Yeah, I mean, I maybe. I honestly think we we sent we send something here. Yeah, if the Malzar is there. Let's see if it's a mistake. Yeah, Malzar is here. He doesn't. Yeah, place your W. Place your W. Place your W. Yep, yep, yep. This guy went in a little bit early. You you kill her kill her though. It's fine. You have her. You have E in two seconds. Nice. You got her as well. Yeah, really big. And now just go back to jungling. Uh maybe maybe even go 
base. I'm not sure because of Shaco, but I think you can just go jungle. Like, just use your, all your abilities, like, use your W and everything. Smite the Crux right away. If the Shaco comes, just make sure you have your um, finger on the R button. So, finger yeah. on the R button, yeah. yeah. Smite it, smite it, smite it. And, and I'll just... Uh, can you Jeez, open your shop really, really quick as well? See how much gold you need? No, just look. No, no, okay. You need to clear. Yeah. Yeah, just guess that, whatever. Uh, just clear everything, get the rocket built, and you're doing very well. In a really good position to snowball. Uh, maybe maybe death mid here. I, I personally never smite the raptors, they're just not they don't have a lot enough uh, HP. Yeah, just uh death mid here. Okay, I mean there's only one minion. Yeah, just go back to Yeah, get get the crab actually first. Because crab is like more high priority. Uh, don't ever e like that. It's like if you e like that and you actually meet someone, you, you you're gonna regret it. You know. <laughs> That's just how it is. You know, yeah. because then you don't have your movement spell to either e on them or uh, yeah, you can actually maybe do herald here. I think. Yeah, I was thinking. Also, look top, look top. Yeah, look, look top. The raven seems to be engaging. Right. Can maybe uh, dive. Okay, oh, she's okay, just yeah. diving on her own, so yeah, just get the Herald and recall right away afterwards. That's like a really good tempo thing. Don't go back to clearing your jungle. You'll clear it can faster I, with more I items. R? Can I recall an R, maybe? No, 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 no point. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's, not, it's not even much faster. Like, you're fine with just walking there. And, and you really want the ult to be able to play the game, you know? So just uh, get the Herald, recall, and clear your topside. Or go bot right away, depending on what happens on bot here. Um, no, I think go to your top side. Just go to your top side. You're gonna be there too late anyways. So just get uh, start at blue. Do blue grump. I mean, I mean, keep looking bot. I guess keep looking bot. See if they if you maybe can move there now because they're actually fighting for a long time. But uh, maybe uh, get get the blue first. Get the blue first. Get the blue. Oh okay. shit! My bad. My bad. No, that's whatever. Okay, now now do grump next though. Okay. Uh, the thing is, you want the Grump to be respawning right after the Wolf's Camp, right? And if you do the blue in between, it's gonna just be, like, a little bit later. Um, so, yeah. I, I guess since this fight actually went on for a long time, you maybe could have moved there, but it's fine. Yeah. Should I just go now, or should I just... Definitely keep clearing your jungle first. You finish clearing your jungle, and then see what you can do. Could even look top here, since you're already kind of around there. Noxion has no E, yeah, probably, okay, actually go there now, and then also get the Herald there, I think it's a good idea. Getting the outer turrets is pretty good. I'll just go from the right, yeah. or actually... Yeah, you'll get him, you'll get him, just E over the wall and rocket build. I didn't even need to rocket build, now place Herald there as well. Don't, don't get the wave though, like, uh, let, let her get the wave, I mean, no, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Some layers uh, might be might be really sad. Uh, look if the crux. You don't need to attack it. Just look if the crux are up. Look if you can take the crux. Check oh, us here. Place your W. Don't don't panic. Don't panic. Just like you'll kill him. Uh, okay. Just leave. No no reason to overextend here. Uh, I mean, uh, this is definitely a greedy recall, but your rhythm is kind of around, so it could be okay. Yeah. Buy the boots. Buy um. Wait, not, not never by the Sheen, by the Finnish Codex. Sheen gives you nothing, it gives you no uh, stats, so like th that's the one thing you should never buy. It gives you zero stats, it only gives you the physical damage on it, which is not what you want as Echo. So yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, definitely look mid here, look mid, look, look if you can help you, Yasu. Yeah, ping, yeah, you can definitely help. Place a nice W now. I could place a Teeper. Good, pro passive, nice. You'll get them both. Oh. You'll get them still. Yeah. And there's Shaco also. Place your W. Yeah. Pretty sure he's in. No, he's below. He's below. Uh, you're. Well, uh, I think you need to run. Yeah. yeah, damn, I feel Yeah, the, the, like, nah, but I mean the Terry kind of trolled, he didn't have the awareness, he didn't see, I guess. Yeah, probably, uh, the right play would have definitely been to only play with your ult here, but you're still doing fine. Like, yeah, Shake was a bit of a problem, but, uh, he's also a really squishy champ, so as, as long as you stay in the game, you're still gonna be able to kill him 100%.
Uh, I guess yeah, need to. I done something. Yeah, I I mean probably you should have just flashed away after you stunned him. Mm -hmm. Cause he had a big yeah. shot down. Yeah, go to your red, see if uh, they start dragging, and then maybe try to steal it. Okay. I go for like level four, level five drakes all the time. Yeah, you shouldn't. No, most of the time you shouldn't. But Echo is not very good at that, and like he really goes low. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess you don't have time to do red. I could. Do honestly, you? I mean, this is just free here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Just place your. I guess they're already getting zoned off. Yeah, I think you can just do it. You're pretty strong here. Place your W, place your W now, like, because at, the, at least then if Shaco comes, okay, he will try to steal. Yeah, nice. oh, See, and now he died though, for it, so it's completely fine. This is why you need to play, uh, the Vayne is also fighting, Vayne is fighting on the bot. You need to look bot, you need to look bot. Oh shit, I didn't even look. Really need to look at your minimap a lot. Like, you need to see this right away, this kind of stuff. Could have definitely helped there. Yeah, we'll shove and see if we can. Uh, get the, get the blue buff, get the blue buff, Shaco's still dead. Like his blue buff. I could just clear his whole jungle. Yeah, sweep as well here. No, I mean, don't think you can clear his whole jungle. Get the blue, get the blue, get the blue, get the blue. He, the Yasu's gonna get it. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of toxic, but... It looks kind of toxic, but... You get extra XP it's from Yasu. it. It's it's Yasu. Yasu. Yeah, right. Kill him, kill him, kill him. You have rocket built? Yeah. I'm actually challenger, holy shit. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you should just leash. <laughs> just fucking, dude, I, I perfectly eva I his ass. Yeah, you... The thing that makes you not Challenger is uh, not knowing that you don't kill him there. It was a little bit of an overcommitment. I mean, I mean, this is just like... I, I thought also you could maybe kill him there, but... Um... I guess not without a stun. Fizz has, of course, this kind of passive where he takes less damage from your attacks or something, so... Makes him always tankier than you think he might be. Yeah, I mean, flashing there is definitely not worth, of course. Like, even if you get the kill, it's really not worth, because you're, like, a big target in this game, so you want to hold your flash. Do you have a shutdown again? Definitely need to press that. See, you have a 300 gold shutdown, so you're worth twice uh, as much as you normally would be, so really don't want to flash too carelessly. Uh, yeah, definitely see if you can help there. Either, yeah, either go mid or right back. Yeah, you can, you can help, you can help. Nice, this guy's a demon. Place a W somewhere there. Nice. Nice, nice. we love to see it. Echo, not like this. Yeah, get the Herald now. Let, let the laners push, you know? I mean, yeah, sure, you can do it here, it's fine, but... Just, like, it should be your laners job to push. Sure, in, in your elo, they might not do it sometimes, but... Still. Yeah, I wanted to... I, I, I see a lot of value in, like... While you're walking, you can spend like three seconds and just EQ a wave and just like have it slow push. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can get for a few sure. Minions. But if you also have jungle up, you should be prioritizing that. Also, get the last. Hit. I mean, yeah. Can you buy the lift gun already? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Buy, buy another needlessly large rot here as well. Buy another what? A needlessly large rot. Yeah, the the sure. item. Yeah. And just go to your blue. Go to your blue. Could even be yeah, looking to uh, invade his red at this point. Yeah, we're very ad. We, we literally yeah, yeah, one-shot yeah. the whole team. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, actually, I yeah, started the wolves here because of that. Because you might want to be pathing into the enemy red. So yeah, do Grump next. I mean, whatever. At this point, it's, it doesn't matter too much because you clear the camps so quickly anyways. But So, so there's like only three seconds. But in the early game, it does matter, you know, because it's like a 20 seconds or whatever per camp. And then having camps respawn 20 seconds later definitely sucks a little bit. Uh, I guess just go hover your rhythm here. Uh, the the Shaco probably already did, did his right now, but, you know. Just, yeah, just sweep, see if you're being spotted. Oh, he's still on it. You can maybe catch him as raptors. Okay, they spotted you now. Place a W in the, next to the raptors brush. Yeah, yeah. Should, definitely need to get better at placing your Ws from outside of vision. Like, abusing the range. You can kill him, you can kill him. You had like 20 opportunities to ult there as well, but yeah, now you have it still. Yeah, you kill her as well. Nice. Yeah, uh, I need to abuse that better. With the yeah, it definitely. Yeah, you W and then also you could have for sure. There were so many uh, offensive oppor opportunities for your ult to hit on the Shaco right away there. Don't even mm. take damage from him. <coughs> look if the, yeah, look if the jungle's up. You're right next to it. Just see if the jungle's up. 
Like, I'll always take that, you know? It's, it's so much gold you're taking away from him. And, like, at this point, he also is never gonna be able to invade your jungle. See, in like, this game already you have 8 CS. So, uh, oh, yeah, shit. again, just recall, recall, recall now. And that's how you're gonna keep up the good CSing as well. Because you never, at this point, you never want to go back to your jungle, you know? Uh, especially because you have gold to spend. I guess, come on, buy my dress here. Mm, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just uh, for the content. I think I personally actually would make the decision. I would, I would also, <laughs> I would also make the decision to buy Need to see Lord Road for like winning. But I mean, you're probably gonna win this no matter what. So true, so true. Exactly. Okay. So we got drag up. We could. Yeah, you know, just see if you can maybe get a pick or two before, and then yeah, I guess you can probably just start it. Like you always want to have the lanes pushed, of course. Mid, you're pushing. But then it's also a little bit pushed. Oh my god, yeah, we melt this thing. Yeah, and you can see they, they, they can never even walk in there. You know, just yeah, see if you can help there. <laughs> Always look there, you know? Like, look. Like, actually... Be there with your camera. Uh, ult, ult. Uh. Damn. Get the blue, I guess, or, or just get Nash, you, you could just get Nash here as well, but I mean get both, honestly, just get the blue and then get uh, that. Uh, by the way, I, I don't even think, I just remember, I don't even think I finished my thought earlier with the green spend. I think green spend is really good against Shaiko boxes because you're gonna walk into them when you're full HP most of the time and then the tenacity is gonna help. But next patch they're gonna remove that anyway, so kind of useless information. And for example, another uh, matchup I like to build the green spend in. Uh, where, where it might not seem intuitive is, for example, Karthus, because of the ult, you know? Like, it's just gonna tank a little bit of the ult, the shield, and Echo's not a champ with a lot of sustain, so... It's definitely nice. I think what you're doing here is just trolling. Like, just just, just go back and uh, clear your uh, their, their jungle. And, like... They're trying to... This is, like, why all of you guys are in gold, you know? Because you're doing this kind of gameplay. <laughs> really, like, you, you should just be... Looking at side waves and doing this kind of stuff instead of just mindlessly forcing 5v5s, which can go either way, you know? Damn. Sweep here? I mean, may maybe he did some weird shit, you know? Uh, get, get the crap. And I guess... Yeah, it, of course, like you really had, so you kind of won this, but you really always need to just be sure to make... Uh, like, to push in the side waves. Mm -hmm. uh, like, don't ever... Around. Yeah, you, you were just all, uh, like, hard committing in the mid lane and then just forcing a 5v5, which, of course, at, at this point, you were really ahead, so it will probably go in your way, but it might also just lose you the game because you just give your shutdowns because something went wrong, and yeah, instead you could have just played decent macro and could have pushed in sideways and whatever, and then uh, by pushing in sideways, you, it means that people have to move there, you know? Because they will have to clear the minions. And that means that that you'll just create a natural numbers advantage oftentimes where you can push push better. Uh, see, for example, mm. ju just think to yourself, why did you do it this way? Why did you do it? Uh, why did you uh, clear the Raptor second? Because now you're down here. Do you want to be down here right now? Not really. Like you would ra rather be either at your like towards your wolves, or like I mean, unless you yeah. uh, unless you're really planning to push bot right now. But I don't, I don't know if that's like the best thing you could be doing, just pushing bot alone. I think. Just clear your jungle here, get Rabadons, and then maybe like ping Nash. At this point, you should also just be uh, focusing Nash. Just wait, wait for the Riven to come up again, and then do Nash. Yeah, just do the just do the grab. <laughs> You're oh just my refusing. God, bro. I, okay, okay, I will for sure improve on this after this because mm. I keep forgetting to. Yeah, it's a the, habit, uh, I guess. Okay. Yeah. We're in. Uh, get yeah, go go help the Yas maybe. Okay, just recall. Get the Rabadon's massive power spike and then ping for Nash. No, don't ult, don't ult. Just buy buy the Rabadon's and walk there. The Riven's not even there anyways. Mm. Uh, also, since you're in debt, you could have also bought a control ward here as well, uh, because you're oh, only gonna yeah. lose minus fifty no matter what. Yeah, j just ping for Nash now. Like literally, just ping for it. That you want to do it. I mean, yeah, if your team is fighting, go there, of course, like, go there. Uh, like, yeah, it, it might not be the right play, but it, it's still better to help your team in a wrong play and maybe turn it in your favor by just uh, playing than just letting them die, you know? Oh, that's fine. 
Yeah, just, you can just end now. Yeah, space aids kill them off. This guy can't do shit. Just place a W between the towers. Place a W between the towers. Again, always do this from outside of vision and just push. Like, they can literally do nothing now. Yeah, you can just end. Like, you deal a lot of damage to towers. Yeah, very solid game. Like, how easy was this game because you just had good farm as well? Like, you just, you just felt so strong the whole time, right? Yeah, no, that was that was a free game. Yeah. GG jungle game. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess, uh, of course, I, I was actually way too active this game, honestly. Like, I told you the whole time what to do. But, of course, I, I guess, at least due to that, you could also feel how the game feels when you actually have decent CS, right? Like, you actually were able to 1v9, you know, because you're just so strong. And <laughs> there were, like, no... Massive pathing mistakes. I'm still gonna show you some stuff because we also have some time. Um, yeah, I would love to. Yeah, no, I, I definitely already learned a lot from that, especially about clearing as well and efficiency overall. Like seeing what to do and looking on the map. Yeah. At the right time. Yeah, I mean, definitely something you can improve on still a lot is like looking at the map. Really, just like look more. Like especially when uh, fights are happening, just like look there. You, you need to look. You you need to see the HP and everything. Uh, there's so much info you're still missing, and also, and this is something I'm like literally saying every single coaching session. By the way, like everyone needs to improve on this. Uh, in like, and like even when I watch a lot of streamers, they often don't look at uh, at their lanes enough, in my opinion. Like when you see players like Faker or whatever, they they literally spam their F keys to just get all the info they can possibly get. You know, uh, of course I'm not, I'm not that crazy. I don't do that, but like at least when I see stuff happening on the map, I try to look there. You know. Get the info that's actually important. Uh, <coughs> okay, let's look at the game. Uh, I'm start. I started sharing my screen again. By the way, let me see. Yep, I'm looking. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, as I said, there, there were actually no big pathing mistakes, but of course, I also told you the whole time. I would like some of the stuff, for example, with the sequencing, or whatever. May maybe we'll like, be able to see a bit better in the replay as well. Whenever we go over certain points, I'll explain to you if I had like a different thinking. Because no matter like what I was thinking, like most of the time I would just do what you would tell me to do, just because I wanted to make sure. But uh, like that's why we're here, though, is that we can go over and I can be like, maybe mm -hmm. I thought this was better, and you can explain to me why it wasn't. But better. why do you have like only around five CS on most of your games, then you? Because like I don't think there's a single game in your matches where you get eight CS. <laughs> of course. Um, well, to be you know, honest with you, like I think the one thing I noticed that game was like whenever you were talking about, I think his name was Tabor, like that player that's always trying to mm. do plays and shit like that, and always trying to be on top of that kind of stuff. Like that's definitely what I do. Like I definitely don't even take my time uh, mm -hmm. sometimes to even like clear my shit. And then like I'll do, sometimes I'll just go in and I'll be like, all right, let me clear, full clear everything, and then. Yeah, but that, that's a that's a commitment, you know, like saying let me full clear this, and probably for you that means like clearing every single camp. But that's, that's like not how you should be playing. You should always just be playing. You you should be playing in quadrants, you know. So like you clear this, and and then the perfect time is to while you're crossing this, you just have like multiple ways to take. You know, you could even be uh, like after you clear this, there's many ways to take. You could if you're really cheesy, you could even look for a bot gank. Of course, then you run the risk of getting invaded or whatever. So if you do that, you probably need to tell your team to ward. Uh, the more common place would be to just either keep clearing if there's no opportunities. Or to just like go for a straight gank somewhere, top or maybe mid, depending on the lanes, of course. But all of this, like all of these things, for all of these to, to make the right decisions, you just need the info, you know? And players like Tabor, for example, they just have played the game for a long time. They, they, they're really good at echo, they, they know their limits really well. And so, so, so they're just better at like knowing when they can uh, get stuff done, you know? That's the first thing. And then also, one thing is like in higher elos, Playing a little bit unexpected has more value than in your elo, you know? Like, it really has so much more value, because in high elo, everyone knows the standard jungle times. They know when they will get in, uh, like, ganked and whatever. So, having a little bit of unexpectedness in, in that kind of elo, it just uh, adds something to, like, to surprise people and then maybe snowball games off of there. And that's, like, kind of what Tabor feeds on, you know? Like, this kind of surprise factor. Um, but in your elo, people... Just play so suboptimally in general, anyways. That there's no surprise factor, you know. Like people don't even know what to expect. So it's like, if you just play consistently, it's so it's gonna be so much easier to climb for you. It really, just if you have these like eight CS in all of your wins, you're gonna find that like th these games are gonna be incredibly easy. And of course, like Tabor's playstyle is not the only one that's working, right? Uh, like I I've been having a lot of success recently, and I I still have 
uh, around 7 to 8 CS in most of my games, so it's definitely also working. And, and like, most really high elo junglers have this kind of CS anyways. Like, most challenger junglers, they, they don't have 5 CS, you know? Like, if you want to be challenger, you still need good CSing because you're just gonna be weaker than everyone else. So, yeah, here, like, everything, fine. Just make sure every time, as I said, in-game already, when you're crossing here is really when you need to look. So, I would even take a quick look, but in this kind of state where the enemies are a little bit pushed up, you know? But it's generally, of course, not the lane you want to be going, because it's a big commitment, as I said. Uh, the Shaker couldn't even punish you here, so it, it wouldn't even be a big problem. But, yeah. And also, I just want to highlight again uh, with the clearing as well, by the way. See, like, you're at your uh, Raptors now, so he's at his Raptors now as well. Uh, actually, in-game I thought, of course, that he started as his blue, but apparently he started as his red on his own. So if, if, if Jungle starts leashless, you never really know. But still, just you still know that he's either here or here, right? And and that's kind of enough information. At some point, you will get the info uh, on on where he actually is, of course. So just just like these general times, it's all mirrored, you know. It's really like yeah, he's doing a little bit faster than you, but uh, it generally it's still mirrored. And he should also be doing grump here. And this is exactly why. See, like <coughs> now you you're at like three minutes. You start blue. Let's see how long it takes you to do the blue. It takes you like 15 seconds, and also because you smite it, usually you don't want to smite. Like, you might, you often you want to hold your smite in case you need to contest the crap. Um, so it, it takes you like 15 without smite, 20 seconds to do the uh, blue buff, which means this camp will spawn 20 seconds later, right? If you clear it right afterwards. Uh, which is not nice if you just keep full clearing. Like, on the next clear, it means that if you, if you are here, you might have to wait 20 seconds here for this camp, and it just kind of fucks up your sequencing, you know? And, and like, there's literally no reason, right? No reason to just do Wolves, Grump, and then Blue, because they're, like, right next to each other. Like, actually, actually, zero reason. <coughs> so, just get, get, get into the habit of doing that, at least on your first two clears, I would say. After that, it really doesn't matter that much, because you have items, it's, like, whatever, but, yeah. On the first two clears, it definitely does matter a little bit for the sequencing. Yeah, and I, I, at this point, I would even, like, you're so hesitant here, I don't know what you're so scared of, you know? I guess you were scared of Shaker a bit, little bit or something, but I don't know. I was, yeah, I was okay scared of Shaker being somewhere in the bush or something. See, but like, yeah, but this is this kind of like stuff that I see so much, but like, he's not gonna one shot you, you know? What what would happen? Imagine he's actually here. What would happen? He, he would maybe Q on you, place a box somewhere. Cool. He, he might EU, yeah, he has Ignite, sure, like, whatever. You place your W, you Q, auto attack, proc your passive, run. Cool. Like, nothing happens. He's never gonna kill you with this HP. Uh, he he's just not you know, uh, and and like if he's actually overcommitting, then maybe your ribbon can even move or whatever. And so you just you should you should just not even have to be scared here at all. Uh, and then yeah, I w I would probably just clear this word while you're at it. It's like it's just extra gold that you can get, you know. It's extra gold that you otherwise couldn't get. And then also no, it's even more. I think it's twenty five. It, I I always I don't even know. Like I think the lower uh, the HP is, the less gold it gives or something. And then, yeah, as I already said in game, no reason to recall on vision, you know? You're just giving them so much info here. Like, th this is the kind of info you never want to give them, honestly. Because n now they definitely know that you're in base, they know on bot lane that they can play however they want, top lane knows that he can play however he wants. If you just stay here, you could also be looking for a cheesy top gang or something, you know? So, just like next time, go into the brush or something, or even go behind here, whatever. Just zero reason to give enemies this kind of info. Um, and then... Yeah, no, that that just gives way too much comfort to any lane. Exactly. Honestly. And then here, uh, I think, just path straight here. Like, you pathed up here, but there's no reason. Like, just path here. Because, yeah, exactly what what is even happening here. This is warded, and this is gonna be warded so many times. So there's zero reason to walk here when you could just be walking here. Uh, because, like, the way this is playing out, you know that you're not gonna go come in from behind, right? Like, you're, it's just gonna wait, take way too long and they're not even like pushed up or anything. So if you're gonna join this fight, you're gonna just join it by walking here, placing a W from outside of a vision and then maybe doing something. So yeah, I mean, this actually kinda worked out, sure? I guess, because... Uh, like, particularly by the part, because it looked like whenever I started pathing there, it low-key looked like they were gonna go river. Because sometimes bot lane will just run river whenever they have nothing else to do. Well, you mean so like randomly? Like what they were gonna do. Like, I thought, yeah, like, right there. Like no, I but they're fighting. I mean, it's, they're not gonna randomly run anywhere. They're fighting here, you see. And, like, if you had just pathed here, see, like, you would've already been here, or something. 
Mm -hmm. And then you place a W behind her, she just flashed in, you know, you place a W behind her, you can EQ, you probably don't even need to flash, you know. And if you need to flash, then it's gonna be the same result anyways, right, because you flashed over here no matter what. And then, yeah, as I said, I, I don't think you should have flashed here, I think the, they would have gotten... Uh, but maybe maybe it was good, you know, because it, it actually made you snowball a bit. And uh, echo kills are definitely worth more than kills on these twos, so yeah. Yeah, that's the main reason, I just wanted to kind of like carry potential there is yeah. just way more for echo so i just took the kill yeah that's fine and see the shake go completely clueless he thinks your top side is up but it's not uh because he has like <laughs> yeah, he has no understanding of like jungle pathing and and this is why these uh recalls are also so important you know uh look be, be, uh, okay i'm not gonna go with that far back but the important thing as well with this is that you're gonna be at this camp basically when it spawns so it means that the enemy doesn't even have a timing window to ever invade you you know and if they actually do want to invade you, it would mean that they haven't based yet. Because otherwise they, they would never be able to be there. Like, they wouldn't. Um, just like, t walking out of the base-wise. Like, time-wise. Uh, so that means you would just beat them if they actually do go for the invade. Like, it happens every now and then that they might think they have a timing window to invade you, but... But they just don't, you know? I think I just realized something, yeah, because... It's like, whenever... You said the jungle is kind of like mirror of each other. So it's like, what if like, since I'm not following the classic like mirror pattern, junglers just walk in my jungle and they're like, wait, this Gromp's up, free shit. You know what I mean? Just like steal it. That's probably why. Yeah, it's just yeah if you do that sometimes so maybe. Bad. Yeah, and, and that's also a thing like, that's why I'm also saying, I think in your elo, like worrying too much about tracking jungle is not even worth because the enemy jungle might make so many mistakes, mistakes in their pathing that you just can't track them, you know? Like, yes, I can track junglers in my elo because I kind of know that they're going to make the generally right decisions most of the time. But, like, <coughs> in your elo, like, yeah, this Shaco actually had kind of normal pathing, but I'm sure in some games uh, where the enemy jungle also is, like, an average of 5 CS per game, that they they will just have weird pathing decisions that you just can't read, you know? So j just worry about your own pathing, worry about being efficient with that, and then you're going to be ahead in, like, 90% of your games from that alone, you know? You don't even need to get many kills. Right. So like here everything's fine. I think the big thing that maybe you, maybe you wouldn't have done as well without me is just the recalling. You know, like the recalling is like the the biggest thing. It's not even the pathing, of course. Like clearing these camps or whatever is it's not rocket science. It's not at all. You know, I'm sure you do that uh, yourself uh, as well, right? Like this, it's it's really not difficult. The important thing is really just taking those efficient recalls. So you, like for example, recalling here, like just understanding that there's no no real opportunity here. Uh, like, yeah, I, I was saying, like, look mid for sure, uh, I, I would, honestly, if you're really, like, good at communicating, uh, that's actually something you also, I think, you tick the box, right, for, like, communicating, uh, I think here you could have done, uh, like, a bait ping, ba ba bait ping for the, because we saw this guy, uh, we saw that you probably win this, right, the fist is super low, this guy's also a little bit, uh, like, on 75% HP, so uh, you definitely win this 2v2, I'm sure, uh, so just do, like, a bait ping, so he stays here instead of uh, walking, uh, and then like place a nice W and, and you just get probably two kills, you know? And then probably even the red buff afterwards, so... It's a yeah. situation where having flash would have been so nice, to be honest. For sure, you. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I mean, you would have yeah. gotten one kill and you also got one kill here, so... Or like probably only one kill. So it's not like a big difference, but... Yeah. Yeah. And then here, yeah, I, as, I, as I said, I think the big, best thing you could have done here is just ping for like him to bait. <coughs> so they actually go for some kind of play. And then, yeah, you could have maybe invaded, but probably not a good idea, because Akshan has, like, a easier time to move, and he... Yeah, and I think I think invading here would have definitely been a mistake. But yeah, definitely really important to just space right afterwards here. Get this, yeah, you have a bunch of gold to spend, it's gonna improve your jungle clearing a lot. Again, as I said in game, no reason to smite this. You, you're aware of, like, the Echo W passive, right? You've played Echo for a long time. What if, okay, what if I told you I you are not aware about it like two weeks ago? I'm not <laughs> okay. even trolling, bro. Yeah, not it's definitely trolling. see like this is why you if you're gonna smite this, I, I don't even think yeah, you don't even need to smite this, right? Like one more auto attack two or whatever uh, gets it. So just keep the smite so you have it up like right away here. But uh generally if you want to smite something, smite it early so that this kicks in, you know? Like the right. thirty get, getting people getting oh, things below thirty okay, percent. Okay, no, that makes so much sense. Yeah, I see the vision with that. Yeah, and, and another thing I'm gonna uh, like also add on to it here as well. Let, let's say you're standing in here, you have ult, uh, and someone is face checking you. You ult right away. It's like it's really counterintuitive. Like if you want to one shot someone, of course, and and you usually will, of course, if you hit your ult. Uh, I've been saying this in like every coaching session because. 
people people have this mindset where they they feel like they need to last it with echo ult but it's much better to just ult right away get people as low as possible first of all ult is like an incredibly difficult spell to hit right anyways yeah uh, compared to other spells at least so ulting right away getting that free hit dealing like tons of damage and then like get, getting people even below that 30 percent threshold is is the best you can do basically so yeah, just it's a small tip, I guess. But if you ever get into that situation, then definitely abuse it. Like, don't don't be scared to ult right away. You're pro you're gonna kill most targets when you're like hitting them with ult, and you're not too behind. Yeah, versus the Shaco, that's kind of the like the first fight I did against Shaco topside. If you remember that, that was specifically the mindset I had in mind. Like, I'm just gonna ult him because I thought he was on him, and it just missed, so it looked like a panic ult. And then the mm -hmm. fight afterwards, or my R was literally sitting on top of him for like ten years, like. I, yeah. in that situation, thought maybe just holding and waiting for a double ult was better, but... It could probably yeah, but that's a bit greedy, honestly, in this situation, for sure. Like, waiting for a double ult. Yeah, and while you're yeah. clearing this, and while you're seeing this, you definitely need to look bot right away, uh, the whole time, you know? Just, just see their movement, see... Of course, we know they have full HP and whatever, you look bot here as well, because I told you, but... It's like... Definitely just look bot, because you're around, you, you, you see, like... It's so simple, you know? You see some... You, you even have your minimap so big, right? So I'm sure you can look at it a lot, so... Just as soon as you see people that are like slightly overextended, just make sure to look there, like actually look there. Get the real info that you could be getting, like the most important thing, always the HP. Then the second most important thing, I guess like mana is also important. Uh, some champions, they, they can't function without mana, let's say like a Kassadin without mana, is he doesn't have his flash every three seconds with it, you know, if he doesn't have mana. So definitely something you can abuse. Uh, and then other thing, of course, just like... The way they're moving, you know, it can also tell you something. The better you are at the game, the more you can read in their movement. Like, sometimes you could even read, like, a jungler being in the brush or whatever, but, uh, like, just so much stuff you just... So many infos you can just get by actually looking at lanes. And just... You don't need to be faker and look at every lane every second. You could just be looking at the lanes that are overextending and that are even close. Like, when you're here, you don't really need to be looking top because you're not gonna be able to be there anyways, you know? So just look at the lanes that are close to you, and especially if there's, if it looks like there's something uh, that could be happening. And here, really important, like, I don't know if you would have uh, kept chasing, maybe, like, I'm not gonna tell you that you wouldn't, but it's really important, like, this definitely looked like it could have, uh, like, I'm sure some people would have just given up here, <coughs> but, yeah, just look at your, like, because they, they weren't aware of your, their cooldowns, but definitely just need to look at your cooldowns and understand that you still get that kill. Definitely close with the tower shot. Yeah. Uh, hard, yeah, it's better that you held it. And, and like here, for example, I, I don't know, like, this recall here would have been a massive mistake. Or not, not a massive mistake, it would have been a mistake. Like, there's no reason. First of all, you will fuck up your sequencing. Second of all, you really, like, at this point, you want you want your next base to be the rocket belt. You, you need 1480 to fully complete it without going in depth. So, uh, just the fact that you have all of this on your map here. You should be taking it and then just getting the rocket pill power spike. You have a really good timing with it as well, you know? So th there's zero reason to recall there. Especially because, like, nowadays, as you said yourself, you heal so much from the camps. Dude, it's so <laughs> Mickey. It's actually insane how free it is to, like, farm jungle now. It's yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah. Because I was a season 3 player, like, bro, like, I don't know. It was... I've been yeah. playing this game for way too long, man. So... It's just crazy to see how much easier it was. Whenever I first got yeah. into jungle, I was like, wait, why is all this shit so much easier than it used to be back in the day? Yeah, jungling is actually a joke nowadays, it really is. And they're gonna dumb it down a little bit more, even next patch. So, yeah. Also, really important, as I said, you just take the recall here. Don't clear this jungle with less items, you know? Like, you're gonna have so much more items. And not, not just that, you know, like... You also, like, I mean, I mean, the same point, I guess, you have more items, but that means you also will clear this, and then, if something is happening, you already have the items, you know? Like, if you clear this now, you'll just have an awkward timing. So, th these are, like, the really important recalls to take. Uh, this is why I'm saying, like, I, I would have loved to just look at a game where you play your own and see if you would have taken these recalls, because this is what made this game so smooth for you, you know? Like, uh, this is why, I mean, the check was also doing well, honestly, like, he also didn't make many mistakes. But uh, in these recalls, just taking them, it's so important. And if, if you um, d don't take them, you lose so much tempo. If it makes you feel any better, the definitely the the good thing is is that like whenever I like I, I learn from good play just as well as I do from mistakes. Like I realize I mm. felt the difference in my recalls so much. This yeah, that's good. Like, 
it's actually crazy. I think that honestly was like a big thing holding me back. Like, yeah, that's a big I thing most players in your yeah, like that's a, such a big thing. Uh, I think most players, especially below master, even like and even diamond players, they usually it's such a big thing and it's such a simple thing to improve. You just need to think about jungling different. I'm I'm gonna also send you the video that helped me a lot with this as well. Like, see, like I, I managed to reach master without even really un having understood this. So. Uh, but but it is definitely super important still. Like it's it's so it's just gonna make your gameplay so much more consistent, I guess. And here, like see, the the way you path here is you started at wolves. I told in game I told you you started blue, you know? And and see what happens now. Now you're kinda of forced to go top, which is fine. Like it, it worked out in the scenario. But but you really need to like I'm pretty sure in game you didn't have that plan to actually get top here. Like, yeah, it worked out because Riven played it well and whatever. And and so th this was actually kind of the optimal play. Uh, de definitely, I guess, uh, wasting the rocket belt here was not, not even that good, right? Like, I, I, I even said, uh, use rocket belt here, but, uh, like, in hindsight, definitely could have just eat. Yeah. yeah. yeah e, 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 Q, like, in so many ways, you could have killed E, Q, or just E, or E, smite, or whatever. So, and then you have the rocket belt, and you can maybe punish the Shaco as well. And then here... Yeah, okay, so you... what you were already saying, check Krogs instead of clearing the wave. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you should have checked the Krogs. But then also, we, now now I think we have info on him, do we? No, we, we still don't actually. Now we have info. Now the first reaction always needs to be placing W right away. You need to get the shield as fast as possible. Like, just place it on top of you in this kind of situation where you're face checking something. So, yeah. yeah. Just place it right away. See, like, it's the last thing you do. And now, now what value did it provide? Zero, right? Like, actually zero. If you had just placed it right away, you could have held your ult longer. And then you could have maybe just like actually fought him, you know. At least forces Q at the very minimum. See, like when did you ult even? Like you ulted at like forty percent or something. So yeah, I think you just kill him here. Honestly, you're so strong. Like yeah, he's also really strong, but like when did yeah, you ult? No. Yeah, you ulted at like what? Actually, forty percent, pretty much. Way too early. And and if you had just placed your W right away, you would have gotten the shield, and then you just chase him down. Especially if you had held your rocket belt, you literally just kill him here. Yeah, I knew he had ignite. Oh, he didn't have it up. Damn. No, he but didn't I even have ignite. ignite. So I didn't want him to ignite me. And then okay, yeah, like that's definitely. Universe. Yeah, that's definitely a thought process. I guess uh, dodging the, dodging the heal reduction and then ulting early. That, that's definitely. But that's a, another reason why you should just be placing W, right? So you don't even care so much yeah. about the healing reduction. One hundred percent. I I think you were spot on about like me. Like whenever I get a melee champion who like catches me off guard in a bush, like I need to just W on top of me yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and also here, for example, that's another thing. Like at least you place your W. I mean, okay. I, I also also always told you to place W. I don't know if you would have done it yourself, but I mean, you played a bunch of. I'm sure you place your W hopefully, but like in this situation, you see, like where I think you place it somewhere. You like place it deeper. Like just. Have have a little bit better awareness. I mean, yeah, this is okay, I guess. But I mean, you even get the action stun. But yeah, I don't know. I, it was okay, I guess. I think uh, maybe I was thinking of, of another one. Like this was fine, to be honest. Uh, the, the way Honestly, you placed it. As I placed it, I was like, this is a little bit too shallow. Yeah, I think I would have placed. Really it. glad it worked out. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could have placed it uh, more uh, so it actually covers like all of this, right? You covered a little bit of this where it didn't have any value. And I, I, uh, here, let's see. It was good, the fact that you used this. Yeah, Q next time here. Just Q him. Q him, so you have the E, you know? Because now it just gets a tiny bit awkward. Like, yeah, you still get him, no problem, but... Uh, and then here we, we saw the... Yeah. We saw the Shaco, uh, second tier. So, we, we saw that he queued, and it, he also thought that he might be able to help the... this. So now, just place a W here. <coughs> like, if you have a good read on the game, just place a W here. Because you, you know that... Uh, he's either gonna be walking somewhere here, then you're gonna see him no matter what, or you're just gonna have to face check him here, and then you just place a W in here, and uh, you're probably gonna be able to fight him. And then we even saw something from him here. And see, again, like you're just missing your W, you know? You just need to be placing your W first. It's such a big thing, it's such a big thing. You, you, you're so ready to E over here and face check someone that's gonna OTPS you without placing your W, you know? Just next time, place your W from outside of vision. That's another big thing here, right? He he knows that now that when you cast your W, he, he completely knows that he has to react to it. If you just place it before going over there, like because we knew that he was in here, right, from this one animation, we knew that he was exactly in there. So just place your W in here, and then go over when it's gonna maybe even stun him, you know, because we also know that he doesn't have Q here. He's still 
It's a 10 second cooldown in the early game, so... This was another, like, really... He actually killed you here when you should have been able to kill him here, even without the Tarik, probably. And it's just like your, your W... And I mean, you, you even get the stun, but <laughs> you take way too much damage before. Yeah, and then also... Too much gold, that could have been really bad. Yeah, and then also, I mean, you died here... And like, you see, like now, now you also already you notice how much damage he's dealing. So you need to understand at this point. Okay, fuck! I need to bail. You know. So now just like proc passive and run, because at, at this point you should also be expecting that he gets his Q up again. So see, like you proc passive, and now is where you need to just run. Like you probably don't even need to flash, flash if you run now. Or something. <laughs> if I really probably, need to get out. Yeah, I think you could have even just ran here. Like with the movement speed, I think just running down here and taking a blast would have been enough. But yeah, to be safe, I guess you could have flashed. Yeah, this is never gonna make you live, you know, so... Whatever, uh, it's not the end of the world, as I said in game as well already. Uh, this Shaco is squishy, so... Yeah, he's fat, but you're gonna be able to kill him, because you're also still doing really well. You're still the strongest, uh... See, you got a massive shot and you still have the most gold in the game. So, you're still doing completely fine. That was probably my biggest combat mistake that game. I definitely could have done a lot better of a job with W uh, whenever I was no. checking Bush there. In general, I, I definitely want to look more into my W usage and VOD review that because yeah, definitely my w usage could be way better. Even though like I've played so much Echo, it's definitely not. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something good. I noticed one hundred percent. Yeah, and this is for example, like would you have placed the W yourself? Because it's such a like, yes, yes that standard thing exactly. you need to be doing. Okay, because th this see like exactly what what I the reason you want to place it for is exactly what happened, right? I mean, he, he didn't even have to go in the stun, he's just an idiot, honestly, but, um, like, it, it just forces a difficult decision, you know? <laughs> because now, now he either made the decision to go contest it and, like, like uh, maybe get stunned, or he just doesn't contest it and you zone him away with the W. And that's why you just need to hold it until the end. And, of course, like, since we know that he was gonna go for a steal here, I guess you could have definitely timed your, uh... It's might a bit better. Uh, that's like the small stuff, like honestly, who, who, get, who cares? Like, this stuff happens. Sometimes you win the steal, sometimes you lose it. Yeah, I here you really you, look at the map. In your yeah? personal opinion, how much gold is worth giving up for a dragon, if at all? Uh, that's like, such an impossible, impossible question to answer. Like, it really depends <laughs> on the game state. Okay. There, there's so many variables, you know, like... These, these kind of questions I get asked all the time, but it's like... You, you just need to take all the variables into account, like, yeah, if it's... If it's a game where maybe the soul can become really impactful... But like, you even just ask dragon, you know, like, not every dragon is worth the same. And not every dragon is worth the same to every team, you know? For example, camp tech drake is basically worthless in some games, while well, in other games where you have a, I don't know, Jenna or whatever, it can be really good, you know? And, like, the, all this kind of stuff, but I, I, I could never put, like, a gold value thing on okay. it. I don't, even know, I don't even know what exactly the question was, to be honest, there. It, it was more of a how much gold, like for example, let's say two people die and they give you got 600 gold to take a dragon, would that be like a, a even trade? Or It always depends on how much you lose afterwards, you know, like if you, if two people die and then they get a bunch of towers or they even get an or something, of course it's not worth, you know, again, like so many variables. Right, so, okay, yeah. gotcha, yeah, that makes a lot more sense, alright. Yeah, and then here I guess you really just didn't, it was like the only point where you really didn't look at the map, but you definitely had to, right, like... Could have just moved and helped the Tarek. <laughs> the poor Tarek's just fighting the vein. <laughs> and you're just... See, like, you kill the Shaiko here and then you just completely ignore him. You could have definitely... See, like, he even ulted to get some more time. Could have just moved there right away, but you, you kept moving up here. And then she was able to escape. So... Yeah, unlucky it happens. That was my bad on map awareness. Ironically yeah. enough, I used to have a really good habit of reading the map. And then I started playing Valorant. And then now, like, I... Like, I totally unlearned the habit, because, like, you can't mm. look at your map while you're in a gunfight and shit like that. Yeah. So I just stopped looking at it as much, which really, really sucks in League. I really need to work on that. Yeah, definitely. Just, I mean, just get into the habit, I guess. I don't know. <coughs> like, as a jungler, you have so much downtime where you're not even fighting or whatever. Like, just look at the map. You have nothing, nothing better to do. You're playing PvE most of the game, you know? Uh, here, I guess... As I said already in game, kind of like first of all, I think for example, like, why why would you place a W here? You know, it's a bad W because uh... why why would he be walking forward after clearing this? He's gonna walk back anyway, so just place it somewhere behind him if anything. You know, like this W is never gonna stun him unless he's like actually trolling. Yeah, okay, he actually made a small step, uh, but yeah. And then second thing, of course, it's face. He's always gonna he's never gonna get stunned unless he's like I don't know sleeping. 
So uh, this like fine, and then you even set your challenger, but I mean you you missed your return to right? Like not that it would have mattered, I think, but definitely make sure to hit the return to right? When you're even committing to flashing like that, then. Uh, make that a priority. I guess it would have actually mattered. Yeah, he would have died if he had the return queue. Wait, let me... Can I see this play one more time? Just to yeah, see, yeah. Um... So with my W there, the plan is never to stun him. It's always to at least have a shield. Yeah, so that's fine. Damage. Yeah, that's fine. If you had placed it better, maybe you could have stunned him. Who knows? But probably not. I mean, he would have eaten no matter what, but maybe he, he would have been in a better... No, nah, it would have made a big difference. You got the shield, that's fine. Uh, and the then... Same logic, uh... Sorry, it was the same logic with, like, basically, um, with the Akshan fight earlier. It's like, he's not gonna get hit by it, but the best thing I can do is at least get a race that, Yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good habit to have, right? Like, the main shield, main thing you want is always to have the shield. Like, honestly, that's the main thing. It's, uh, th that's a bad habit that some low elo echoes have, that they don't place the W if they can't get a stun, but that's a really bad mindset. You should be placing it. Of course, you should be trying to get stuns or whatever, or, like, zone people away, but... The main thing you want is the shield, and you always want that in every single fight, because uh, unless you really like don't need it, maybe sometimes you might want to hold it for the next fight or whatever, but generally, Echo, the, the reason Riot added the W to Echo's kit is because he needs it. He's a squishy champ that needs this like massive shield to be able to fight and like tank stuff. Yeah, then here, I, I guess, like, you proc pass if you could have, uh, with the movement speed, you could have uh, maybe ran, but like, he, I guess the Fisk reacted kind of well. Yeah, no, to, to dodge it. Pretty well, I will say. So um, yeah, it's it was whatever. It's a little bit gritty on my part. Yeah, as I said, flash was mainly exactly. just dodges R and also to get the key return, but unfortunately I whiffed. Well, he didn't even ult you though, did he? Or did he? Wait, yeah, uh, yeah he, wait, he, did he you did. not notice that? That's why no, he, I set up he, challenger here. Wait, look. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, that's why I set up here. Pay attention to his ult. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was good that's then, I guess. That's why I set up challenger. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, it looked nice, but let's be honest, this is a 5 second cooldown, your ult is a 80 second cooldown, uh, it's like a 250 second is a 80 second cooldown, and you could have always just ulted, right, you never die, uh, if he wants to go in, so like, it's just like, it's a numbers game in the end, you know, and like, yeah. creating the 80 second cooldown would have definitely been much better than like, using your flash, of course, you also tried to get the kill with the flash, so, yeah, it's just unlucky that it didn't work out, but still, um, yeah. And then all, yeah. yeah, and as a, like it might these kind of stuff, it, it could lose your games. It didn't in this case. You were almost 10k gold ahead of 50 minutes, here, so not a big deal. But uh, just like the, the habit of uh, <coughs> using flash uh, carelessly can definitely lose your games. And like uh, as I said, you you're basically worth twice as much as everyone else in this game. So your flash is just worth even more than it normally is. And then also echo the champ that builds like dark seal that likes to build madras every now and then. So. Echo is one of the champs where you really want to hold your flash as much as possible. Like, at least the later the game goes. And yeah, then here, uh, this W, I also told you to play. It's like, I, I would love to, just, I, I, maybe I should have let you play a little bit more as well, but as, as you said, you, you think you can also learn from this. Like, these Ws are just so good, you know? And this is a nice W, especially because it's from out of vision. Like, they have no reason. I, I would have... Oh, sorry, I was going to say, I would have done this W 100%. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, the biggest thing I learned was just Wing whenever I'm like less committal. Like whenever I'm committing, I wanted to commit here 100. percent But whenever I'm less committing, like I tend to hold my W, which is like something I know. Yeah, that's like, not good. Shaco, that was like something you pointed out, and that's something I learned. But whenever it comes to, like all in plays like this, yeah, I would have just W. I mean, W is a long cooldown, but it's still something you want to use. You know, like at least if you're at the risk of uh, starting a fight. And then I think. Right. If you're being optimal here, I don't think you use your rocket belt. I think you probably kill her without it, and then you can have your rocket belt if you need to have it here, you know? Like, you don't need, because your team is doing fine, but uh, just like, of course, I'm still just gonna point it out to you. Like, sometimes, yeah, I, I'm also also using my rocket belt like that oftentimes to just secure the kill, like, make sure you actually get it. Uh, so it's, it's not like a big mistake or anything at all. I'm just saying, like, sometimes holding it is it, not a bad idea. Uh, to maybe get even more done, you know, like, because the, the the rocket belt really increases your range, right? Like, it really increases your range, it increases your combo potential by a lot, so... Uh, you can definitely miss out on kills because you don't have, uh, have it. And then here, like, again, really important to recall here. You yeah, have so much gold to spend, yeah. because... First of all, like, get, spending this gold will really, really, really increase your clear speed. You have the fucking Lich Ben, you have another, like... Uh, you have another needlessly large shot, so it's a lot of uh, clear speed increase with that. Uh, and then also, just like, you have the perfect amount, like, clearing this would g give you literally nothing, you know? 
you would not be able to uh, get any more items by clearing that. So yeah, like I guess you could have even uh, bought the magic. Like probably now would would have been. Even the best time to buy Madras. If you had 10 stacks here, I think I would have told you to buy Madras, but since you only had 9, I think buying a needlessly large rod is just a bit more consistent. And like, <coughs> one thing, I, I used to be someone that loved buying Madras, but one thing I realized is that Rabanons is such a massive power spike, so in games like this where you're really, really strong, you would usually just rather have the Rabanons uh, complete at like 21 minutes or something than have these Madras that you need to stack up first, you know? It's just not going to make as much of a difference. Uh, the, the main thing why Magis is still nice is because it uh, helps with the uh, Mythic passive bonuses, but yeah. Other than that, like get, getting the Rabadons as quickly as possible is usually just better for closing out games. And also, of course, it doesn't hurt nearly as much if you die. And sadly, in the replay, you, you can never really see the uh, clone, but it was literally on top of him the whole time here. Yeah, I, I don't. Is there any way you can like always get that like clone? Because I'm I'm really bad against it. I never can choose the right one. I uh, know. I me I meant your like old clone was on top of him the whole time. Oh. Okay, uh, right, I remember I got you. Yeah, and this is by the way why the Echo Shaker matchup is Echo favorite is because you you apply your passive stacks and if he ults then you will see who's the right one. I think you see wait. Yeah, you applied one. Yeah. So applied one. Yeah. Let me. Yeah, and and now you know that this is the this is the only one that has one. It's kind of hard to see, but. See, okay, I mean, I think, I think the, yeah, since the Q's here, I think it's still applied, but it, it, it will only be applied to the one that uh, actually is applied to, so that's why we knew this one was the real one. I think the only reason, uh, it, it just insta-applied to the one that was here. So it was kind of hard to see in this situation, but actually, like, in-game, I'm pretty sure I knew that the right one was the uh, real one. See, yeah, see, 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 now, now it's very hard to see because there's a mother bullshit, but see, <laughs> like, this guy has, okay, you can't see the diva, but you see, like, red, you, you can see this small circle, and this one doesn't have it, so, it's hard to yeah. see, but, I trust wish me. there was just a better, tr yeah, okay, yeah, I want to keep that in mind, I wish there was just, like, a trick that was easier, because back in the day. I, and that's, a, that's, like, the best trick you're gonna get, honestly, like, th that's yeah. so good, you know, you see one that has a stack of platinum, you instantly know that it's the right one. And like if there wasn't the mother that was literally like the same color, you would have an easy time seeing it, trust me. Yeah, so I need a pay to win skin dude. But this whole time yeah, nah, but it's only because of Malzahar, honestly. And this whole time your ult was just on top of him. And we know that he yeah, just cute. Yeah, this fight. <laughs> we, the, the reason why you want to ult now, in my opinion, is just because we know that he's gonna get his Q up soon, you know? We, we know that he just right. used it, so yeah, he he won't have it, but he will get it up soon, so you want to just abuse the fact that he has no movement spells and you can actually hit your ult, you know? Because as soon as he gets Q up, he, he might just be able to live. Of course, if you hit your Q here, he also dies right away. But yeah, actually lucky that your rocket belt hit him because it was kind of behind him. Uh, at least you were able to use the ult to get on the Vayner, so it was also nice, I guess. Yeah, it worked out, but I do think, yeah, ulting Shaco there was way better. It was definitely That's more consistent. Yeah. It was like, it was like, it, I last fight I realized, oh, wait, maybe I ulted too early, let's hold it this time, and then I yeah. did... It was also a little bit risky. Side the spectrum. Yeah, yeah you definitely risky. took a little bit of damage. And then you're like, you weren't even thinking about checking this, but like, this is another one of those habits you need to build, like, especially, like, now, what else do you have to do? Like, sure, you could be taking the tower, but like, take the fucking camps first, and then you'll probably still be able to get the tower, you know? And, and this is stuff that, like, imagine, just, just imagine you're the Shaco here. Like, uh, at this point, you're just tilted, because you, you're not going to be able to farm anymore. You're just going to be falling further and further behind while you're getting uh, stronger and stronger. So, you're like... going to check his bot side, and he's going to be like, oh my fucking god. Yeah, it's gone, and, and he, he has no he has no way to ever invade you, so... Just, like, value the enemy camps more than, the uh, like, your camps at this point, and, and just take your camps while you're walking out of base, I guess. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe taking the mid tower here would not have been bad either, but... Uh, I think for your personal gain, it's like, this is definitely better. And then here, I think this is a solid time to buy Madras. You're gonna get your flash up. And then also, I mean, enemies don't have too much CC to really kill you. You're in a really, really good position. You, you even have green smite, which makes you harder to kill. So, I think this is... Sure, like, if you're actually really tryharding, maybe buying the Nidus Elytra just so you can get the Rebellions faster. <laughs> it's not bad, but... I think if, if there's a good Madras, but this is definitely one of them. I was gonna ask you, uh, what's your personal thoughts on using like this is something I do sometimes just for fun, but I don't know if this is actually decent to keep tempo. What do you think about ulting like like to 
recall, like recalling and then ulting? Like, is that? Uh, it really that depends. Idea? Yeah, in, I, I think mainly after level 16, because then your ult cooldown is actually really low, right? It's only 38 seconds. Um, usually, like, the only time I really do it is when I, uh, when we have, like, Nash, you know, and I want to keep pushing, and I want to just keep yeah. the pressure up. That's, like, the main, main time where I actually use that. But most of the time, I don't really... I'd rather have the ult, especially before then, you would rather have the ult to just be allowed to... Like, oftentimes when you're this ahead, you really only want to look to force fights with your ult up, you know? Just, like, don't take any risks. This is, this is another thing that actually I personally recently improved on quite a bit, just being more patient with that. Like, really, really getting into the habit of only playing when your ult is up. Because, like, now you have a 700 gold shot and you're so, so, so valuable, but you're... you're Somewhat killable but without ult, but with ult you're like unkillable honestly at this point. So just just Flash like too, yeah. just like wait these twenty seconds, be patient. Maybe even ping your team if they're like forcing stupid shit. Just like wait and and then just only play with your ult and everything's gonna be fine and you're gonna be able to close out a lot more games because like mm -hmm. the easiest way to lose games in this current meta, like which they're gonna change of course a little bit next patch, is just by giving these massive shutdowns. You know, <laughs> like yeah, they're they're gonna. Reduce snowballing a bit next patch, but this patch still snowballing is really really disgusting in the game. So, uh, but, but it, the same goes for like anti snowballing. I guess like it, when when you give those shutdowns, it, it kind of can snowball in the opposite direction really easily. But yeah, I mean in this game, even if you would would give the shutdown, it would be one thousand gold. It, it would still be ten k gold ahead. So it's not wouldn't it, would be wouldn't be game losing or anything, but it would still suck, of course. So I was actually gonna ask you there. So I remember you were saying as the game is going on, that was we were all like five. It was like five v five mid fucking a ram. You were like, this is yeah. why you guys are all gold. Like, yeah. what would ever? What could everybody else be doing at that point that would be so much more efficient? Like, yeah. So, so like, like one of the team. one of the solo laners should just be on the side lane. I mean, you could even be on the side lane because you're so strong. It's it's not a bad thing. Like you you could just be pushing bot you ignore the noise basically. Let them push you. Let them fight. Which will probably be a mistake because they they might die. But theoretically, <coughs> they're like patient players that 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 are that like just gonna push. Uh, it's just like always. You always want to have multiple ways. You know, as I said in game already, you want to force people to go there. You know, you don't want because now you're just a five v fiving. You know, the the classic like uh, gold player Aram basically. You're just five v fiving. You're giving them a chance to maybe kill you if they outplay you. You know. But if you would just be having someone that's like, let's say pushing here, right, this wave is kind of close, both waves are actually kind of close to the tower, so if you just have someone pushing here, uh, and just like, uh, getting the tower or whatever, either you get the tower, which, nice, pop champ, you get a tower, you you, you did something, or uh, they will have to move someone there, right, and, and then def it, and, and that means you will have a numbers advantage wherever you're pushing, so, and, and then you can maybe go for fights that are just like, in your favor just because of the the created numbers advantage so that's like the very basic macro and like yeah sure it worked out here because you are at 10k gold ahead but in games where you're not nearly ahead and you're still looking to push it just uh can lose your games 100 percent and here i mean <laughs> you're kind of split up with this like the, these two guys are still pushing you're kind of falling back it's definitely not optimal but it didn't go horribly wrong here or anything so should i should i have rotated bot maybe or something and then um, so there's so many things you could be doing, honestly. I mean, because at this point, it's really hard to lose this game. I think to really keep bullying them, yeah, probably just, like, take these camps and then... Uh, mm, sorry. <laughs> just uh, take these take these camps, shove out the wave, and then probably recall. Uh, just recall, and then ping for Nat or something. So, gotcha. like, that's probably what I would have done here. Uh, at this point, also... I, I usually like pinging, like, w when I'm on two needs to see large shots, I, I usually just like pinging my Ravadon, like, how much gold I need for it. Just so my team knows, you know, like, people that have some clue about the game know that it's, like, a really massive power spike. So, yeah. As I already said in game as well, see, like, with this pathing, you're just gonna end up yeah. down here, which, wh why would you want to be down here? Like, you're probably not gonna be pushing here on your own, especially because Nash is such an easy objective to take at this point. So, once you just start at Crux here, or, or if you want to start at Red, then do Crux next. It doesn't matter at this point, you're clearing so fast anyways, but... Like, this is just not what you want to do, because now you're basically just gonna track back here. So, no point. Like, yeah, I mean, you really don't need to focus on jungling too much, but... The safe play, especially because your Riven just died now, is to just clear jungle, get the Reverence, get Nash, and... 
easier said. No, no way to lose the game. Like now, now you're just disgusting. So you have uh, 23 minutes. You have madras plus three items. So <laughs> you're literally one tapping everyone. That motherfucker is not real, dude. He's fed as hell. Jesus. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he just dies to fucking space. Eh? That's crazy. But yeah. Um... I, I definitely think this game, I learned a lot of stuff. I think if you look at my other games, like, like, well, like, not that you have to, I'm just saying, like, if you were to, you would notice that I actually have a really bad problem of not, like, acknowledging Krugs as a camp. Like, actually. That's really bad because Krugs give, like, the most XP and the, uh, and, and, yeah, I mean, it's just one camp, right? It's like, you're literally taking away basically 25% of your income if you're not taking them consistently. You know, like, not not exactly 25% because there's buffs, there's, like, uh, the craps as well, but it's, it's a substantial amount that you're just not taking, you know? And, like, it, let's say you're, like, working, like, you're actually someone working, would you be happy if your boss just told you, like, fuck, you're getting 20% less? Probably not, right? So, <laughs> it's, like, it's, I think the same about the jungle camps. If you have the time, which is, like, most of the time you do have the time, so, like, just clear them. And as I said, like, they even give the most XP, so just like value them and uh, yeah in this game for example you you saw like there was no reason to not just clear and then look for the place afterwards you still got so much done right you have like high skill participations and everything and then here yeah, like I, I guess like that thing always places I w gonna, i was gonna say something um like yeah. i noticed that i think the reason why is you really pointed out the fact that like doing red then raptors then krugs is like such a waste of time because it's like it kind of i feel like it kind of locks you into have to go bot lane or have to go exactly if you take krugs and so it seems like on paper it's a risky like camp to take because it makes you commit to a certain side but it's also like you could just take it second and then be go raptors yeah. and then you go mid you could go clear i don't think i've ever done what you did here like i don't think i've ever done this this and this you know any if yeah, anything i do good. crux red raptors or i do uh raptor uh, red Crux, Raptors, and then, like, you can always just still decide to just stop clearing if there's actually an opportunity arising, you know? But, like, generally you just don't want to lock yourself into these places where you're just out at the outside of the map at the end of clearing, especially when the top side is up, you know? Which is where you always want to naturally path to the next lane, and sometimes there might be deviations where, like, something happens and then you just go, like, mid or you go bot or whatever. But you, you want to at least have the opportunity to go there as fast as possible if you can, you know? You don't want to be like, because if, if nothing is happening, then you will just have to go back and it's just a waste of time for no reason. Uh, and then here, I'm, I'm just saying, like, uh, last tip, I guess, just always place this W, it's so powerful. Like, I get so many free stuns by just placing a W in between these towers. Uh, especially when it's like messy fights here. It's like a 5v5, your whole team is pushing and the enemies are kind of defending. Place your W in between these towers, it will get so many stunts, and even if it doesn't, it will still get you the shield and you're gonna be able to attack the towers, you know? And, and but, but place it from outside of vision next time, like, just place it from, always place it, like, from here, place it, you don't even need to know the range, right? You can just pl click W and Echo will move and cast it as soon as you can, basically, right? So, just get into the habit of uh, abusing that, and then you can just push there for free most of the time. So, yeah. Very solid game, of course. You said you could learn a lot from it. That's really good. We, we did like half an hour longer, but I wanted to review the whole game because it was, uh, it was a decent game to review. And yeah, I mean, if you have any more questions, you can also still ask me really quick. I definitely, um, I will say, I learned like a shit ton, honestly. Because like, it's the good. thing is, is I, what I do in norms, because I'm so like used to Echo, is I play like every single jungle champion, like all the time. And like, sometimes it goes horribly, sometimes it doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. But in generally, generally, it helps me understand more about how to play different champions in the jungle. And so like, increasing my jungle fundamentals to where like, I can learn way better on those champs, as well as be better on my main champ is like huge, because... It just makes me understand the jungle way quicker. So yeah. I, I mainly, from this coaching session, I just wanted to kind of like learn how to learn, which is like starting with like the basics, which is like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I don't even understand things as simple as like clearing Krugs, then Red, then Raptors, you know what I mean? Like taking these yeah. path routes make no sense. See, like, see what an outlier this uh, CS number is compared to all yeah. the other ones, <laughs> really. Like you didn't even have a single game with over seven and you almost hit eight that game. Okay, you have like one seven CS, and it just made the game so easy, right? Like you were just 
this is where Echo is so unfair. Like, if you have Rabadons at 25 minutes, which you can only really achieve with this kind of CSing, unless you get, like, an insane amount of kills. Uh, uh, but, like, I, I manage to get this every now and then as well, right? Like, uh, not every now and then, I get it kind of regularly, just because I have this... Uh, this kind of consistent pathing, and in your elo, it's so easy, like, it's so easy to get even more ahead, because your enemies, let's see how much, I mean, okay, this guy actually, fair play to him, up until at some point he had solid CSing, honestly, uh, you just got really ahead, so in the end he was just not able to farm anymore, but I'm sure if we look at, like, most of the games, your enemy jungle will have really bad CSing as well, right, like, yeah, see, this guy was winning at 5.7, which is, is just not good, you know, and if you have these 7 CS per, or something, you're just gonna be ahead every single time, and, and you're gonna get more kills as well as a, as a like, effect of that. So, you'll just notice, if, if you just <coughs> have this jungling consistency, the games will be so, so, so easy up until a certain elo, and then, uh, like, the easiest thing at that point is probably just gonna be to improve your mechanics, but, yeah. Like, mechanics, I'm always saying, I think mechanics are the easiest way, generally, to climb, because you can... You can just uh, negate so many mistakes by just uh, playing people mechanically, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed my um my mechanics like have been like I still do fine even in like pretty higher elo games. It's yeah, I think your like, mechanics are definitely fine. Yeah, I, I I like to like I've noticed like especially as a fighting game player, if like like most coaches aren't gonna be like, dude, you need to work on your reaction time. You need to work on this, 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 or whatever. Mm. Like things that are quote unquote mechanical or like based on that kind of thing. Like that almost never matters. It's you can literally just like make simple decisions, and that's like immediately gonna skyrocket your rank. Yeah, for me, uh, a big part of mechanics. Some people say it's not mechanics, but for me, it counts into mechanics. It's definitely awareness, like uh, just awareness of enemy abilities, awareness of your teammates' abilities, playing around that. Like it, it or at least having good awareness allows you to even have good mechanics, because then you know what you need to react to, right? I'm sure that's something you can still improve on uh, as well, but I mean, you actually have played the game for a long time, so in this game it didn't... Uh, I didn't notice too many times where you really... it seemed like you had really bad awareness of any uh, of enemy spells. I guess against Shaco sometimes a little bit, uh, but gen generally I think that's not like the biggest thing you need to worry about. I think just improving your jungle clearing uh, with your current uh, mechanical level and whatever will probably get you to Emerald right away, I would say, if you just play a little bit, or, like, try to grind a bit easily. Yeah, I'm gonna grind a little bit over... Probably, I mean, I, I got some time in December during winter break, so I'll probably run a bunch of games. I'll also probably run some games, like, over the course of the next few months, and just I'll let you yeah. know if I end up hitting a... I'm hoping for Diamond or Emerald. That's really is, like, a dream rank for me, I feel like. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely achievable. I mean, it, it always depends on your LP gains as well, of course. But I actually—I mean, was, you have good, I, you have good LP gains. Actually, you have plus thirty-two, so it should be pretty I never, easy. I never mentioned this, but I had a uh, last season that I was playing ranked, and I—I I think it was yeah. So this was—I think it was the season I was gold three. Um, mm -hmm. I had climbed up to gold three, like basically one v nine every game. I mean, you know, it's no achievement. It's well, it was it was gold before emeralds so it was like yeah it was a lot mm -hmm. i mean it's a little bit more considerable right and it's like i was noticing a big problem was i was getting minus eight or minus 28 plus 18 even though i had 70 percent win rate and i think it might have had something to do with like the game might have just lowered my mmr because i died a lot because i would die for like dragons and towers no and no no it's not about that it's it, 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 i think it's because you uh, reached like maybe uh, a new height, like a new highest elo, although I mean, that doesn't even really... I guess you took a pretty big break after season 9? Or season 2020, season 10? I don't even know. Season uh, but... 9 was my best season. Okay, but you took a break between... Yeah, you took a big break here. That's why, I guess, because uh, I think if you if you have like three seasons or something where you don't play, your MMR completely resets. Uh, so... Okay. So I think it just completely reset, which means like completely reset MMR is like silver or something. And then if you basically reach like a quote unquote new height, which is gold, then it means um, your LP gains will just slow down a little bit. You'll have to play in that elo for some time to for it to adjust, I guess. But that's um, really that's really goofy in my opinion because minus twenty eight plus eighteen like. That was like hurts, the most yeah. tilted I've ever gotten from like a rank system. I was like, bro, they've been they've been telling how they've been like, <laughs> gonna improve this rank system for like a decade, and I still. I mean, like, if I you feel know, like it's if you feel like your MMR is holding you back, just get a new account. You know, like. Oh God, bro.
uh, if it's actually holding you back. I I heard that uh, botted accounts are getting banned nowadays. I don't know about that, but I, I haven't experienced it myself yet because most of my accounts are actually botted. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pe people have been saying that. But yeah, we've been uh, going a long time for this session. Uh, as I said, I, I enjoyed it. I That's why I... Time, yeah. yeah, no I worries. You, Let yeah, me... If... Uh, here, I wanted to... Real quick, like, mm -hmm. wanted to ask, uh, like, like kind of like... I don't know, I guess, like, we could go over your content or something if you want to. And we can oh, yeah, to, like, wait. Maybe think of something... Uh...